Hi, welcome to episode 10 of the Little Red Mitten podcast. My name is Carrie. I'm JoLynn. And we are the owners of the Little Red Mitten in, where do we live? St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada. And <laughs> <laughs> the tires behind Leon Roxy Yarn Co. Is that the name? Yeah, I think that's the name. That sounds about right. Uh, you can find us on all the socials there. Chanel usually puts them in there. Uh, welcome back to subscribers. And if you're new to this crazy train, welcome. Welcome. What have we got? Oh, we should probably start with the um, our subtotals for whips. Do you remember? Did you look them up? I didn't look them Shoot. up. Shoot. Darn it. I, I can't believe we do this every single time. Every time. Um, could I? No, oh my God. <laughs> we have phones. It's like we could keep notes. We could. We really could be better. Somebody at this. suggested having that whiteboard or a blackboard behind I us. I keep and... thinking of having, like, yeah, just getting a little one, which we have. We have whiteboards around here. Yeah. And uh, writing it down. For some reason, I think I'm at 16. So we're just going to do estimates? Is Sarah... No, Sarah's gone. Sarah's gone. Should we call Sarah? Okay, well, we'll leave that first. Yeah, okay, call Sarah. Call Sarah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to call anything Sarah. anything else to talk about? Um... <laughs> I can't believe we're... Call, call your lifeline? Yeah. Uh, well, it's October... October. Yeah, maybe we should get this under control first. Okay. Okay. Wait for it. I can, I can do this. Do we want to know who's not in my favorites? <laughs> Sarah actually is. You're not. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You're welcome. Yeah. I don't know why. I keep going. I really should add her there so it's easier for me, but you're like just on do my it. dashboard in my car. I know. I feel guilty now. I'll add you to favorites today. Okay. Calling Sarah. Hey, how many whips did I have last week when we finished? Is she looking up? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we could have done the same thing. We could have, but Sarah could do it too. Sarah says she can't count, but she. Okay, but the last one I had 25, you had 16. Okay, thank okay. you, Sarah. Okay, bye. 25. We, I have 25, you had 16, okay. and we can do 10. Oh, yeah, episode 10. Okay. Maybe we can call this episode Claw Hands 2. Claw Hands, but they're not claws. Straight fingers. That's true. Okay. Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's October. It's October. So last week we decided that we were going to cast on a new pair of socks every Thursday. Thursday, which seems random, but it was the first on a Thursday, so yeah. that's why. <laughs> um, so yeah, every Thursday. So did you cast on a new pair of socks? So we've had two Thursdays. Um, yeah. So. Since... Okay, so when we discussed the... October and what we were going to do. Yeah. I immediately cast on a pair of socks, right? Yes. So did I. So, yeah. So, and then I had ca cast on for the Thursday, for yes. October 1. So, let's see. So, oh yeah. Remember these? These are the... I like them. Remember these? These are my ugly socks, which aren't so ugly. I like them. So, probably could have used a sock blocker. But... We, okay, got, we're so in a we different... got sock blockers in stock. Oh, excellent. We're in a different location. Oh, yeah. We moved from the front room into the sock yarn room. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have our own line of Leo and Roxy right here. And we've got Full Moon Fibers, who is um, another Ontario dyer whom we love. Mm -hmm. Jessica and Allison. We've got Timber Yarns, Timber, which I think... Timber Cane in this week. It's kind of... We'll show you that in a bit, but... Anyways, back to the ugly socks. So these are my Summerly Knit Socks, the Totally Rad Ribbed Socks. I'm going to show this side. This side has the jog. This side is, does not. Um, this is in... Uh, work with me. Ginger Snap. Don't know the color because we both lost the tags. 
and then the contrast is um, Bruce City yarns and mini. Oh, the Harry Potter. The Harry sorting. Mm -hmm. Sorting. So, minutes. Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw, because we both split. We split the. We split the bag. I think. I had a full bag. I had five colors. We split something. Probably. I don't know what it was. Though. I don't know. Anyway, so, I'm and this is my... a summer, oh yeah, I already said that. Summer Lee Designs, rat, totally rad red socks. So those were my cast on for first. September, for, October 1st. No. No, before that. Like September 28th or something like that. Yeah. So then on October 1st, on the Thursday, because oh. I've dedicated it's October to Summer Lee Knit Designs. So no, this, I forgot you said that. Yeah. yeah. So then this is my, um, and it's a that hoe. That is awesome. Um, and that was a hoe. You'll notice a the theme with the oh. hose. So this is also the Totally Rad Rib Socks. Um, just finished Kitchener stitching the, those in, like literally. Um, and then I did the, the, what do you call these? A hemmed. A hemmed top. And did cut. she give you a couple options or yes yeah there's lots of options in all of her patterns i really like them and i love the fit this ribbed leg is really nice i might need to make those they're pretty cute yeah so that's a hoe this is oh this is our full moon fibers um custom colorway that allison and jessica dyed for us and it's called the mitten it's so cute do we have any more here there's two skeins of the sock yarn and one skein of the slub. Do you want to grab one? Right oh, in yeah. the center, yeah. And then I've ordered so, more. That's that's that. Is that focus? No, it's not because we don't know how to work the camera. There it is. <laughs> there it is. There we go. Sorry about the motion sickness, folks. So this is the mitten um, colorway, and it's on the slub and the asteroid sock which is an 80-20. I know, no, I lied. yeah. Yeah, and it's quite lovely. I love how it's knitting up. And I've used um, Leo and Roxy King's Treasure for the contrast for the heels, toes, and stripes. So that's that. So that is my October 1st cast on, and it's a hoe. What was your October 1st cast on? I know. I know. I do know. My October 1st cast on was my... I even posted it on Instagram and... I noticed. On Ravelry. Nice. I didn't do Ravelry yet. I'm behind on Ravelry. My October 1st cast on was my Area 51 Fibers. Oh, yeah. Um, Halloween at Hogwarts colorway which oh, is a lovely. 31 stripe repeat don't no. you hate it when you pull out your fifth needle and so it's actually just pull, attached to stitches pull the needle, all the stitches out yeah. so it's a 31 stripe so i'm just doing one stripe a day so first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth this one is up to date because i did the ninth nice. in the car and then on like day i don't know on like the fourth of october or so i cast on the second one of it so I thought I would try, because then this try way I can almost get a pair done at the same time. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're six days into this, so I got three days to catch up. Nice. On that one. Good job. But yeah, I think they're so cute. So it, it came with a 20 gram mini. So that's why I did the cuff so tiny. Mm -hmm. um, because I don't find with a 20 gram mini, I can do heels, toes, and cuffs. Yeah. Um, I can do two. Usually two. Okay. I could do the cuff and the toes or the heels and the toes, but yeah. um, I think I might just slip in there with some mixed steamy for the heels and then put, use this again for the toes. How many stripe repeat sure. is this? 31. Oh, wow. Because I was going to say, where is this? Where is this orange? Ha Halloween. Halloween. Cool. So all 31. So, yeah. So nice. one of them, one of them, I'm actually coming from the inside and the outside because I decided to make them matching. Okay. Um, I could have done them like in reverse order. Yeah. But I actually decided to make the matching. I don't usually care. But cool. So yeah, these ones are on DPNs. I do have a needle keeper in here, or I did. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> so, who needs nice. to keep track of ten different DPNs in yeah. a bag? 
Not me. I like living on the edge. Nice. So that was my October 1st cast on and I'm keeping up with it. Very cool. Good so. job. Um, I love Area 51. I really do. I love self-striping. Yeah. It's so I'm much so fun. excited to get timber in. There's mm -hmm. Christmas colors yeah. there. So this is one of my favorite. Oh, this is the one that I split with you, right? The other one. No, you split Love Bug. Oh, okay. which is there too. Okay. Oh, right in the center. Right there. Yep. Yep. Love Bug. Love Bug. And I've got some Christmas colorways. Yeah, there's three different Christmas colorways. Hollyberry. Oh, Christmas tree. This would make a really nice men's sock. That's the Hollyberry. Hollyberry. It's, it's not lovely. It's not okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. This table is squeaky. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's quite a few quite a few colorways of timber in, which was nice because we were out of we just almost had... out of self striping yeah. hand dyed stuff. Very good. So. Um, so then that was my October one, and then yesterday was October something. I don't know what the date is. It was the eighth. So the eighth, I cast on this. This is in my. So cute. Little is that the one I picked out for you? Yes, it's my Monstera J. Hendry sock bag. Which is nice because it converts into a um, into a yarn bowl by folding that like that. So it's very cool. Yeah, it stands up by itself. It's really nice. Yeah. So this oh, one. Okay. So I guess I think I have to preempt this. So I a couple of weeks ago I wondered if I subscribed to yes. my row one subscription box. I think you're out of frame. Sorry. Um, <laughs> And I did. So it came in the mail um, the other day. It takes a long time. I think this is September, and then I got it on like October 6th. Sorry, it's gonna be crinkly. Maybe maybe she sends it end of the month. She's also where in the States? She's in I don't know. I don't know where she is. U USPS has not been super friendly to us. No. No. So. The so, stuff we've we've been sending from here that starts in Canada Post and goes to USPS. We've had quite a few packages we're following to make sure they're not totally lost and stuff. So yeah. So this one is uh, this month the Carnival of Color Club from Row One Yarn brings you 100 grams of Keen Sock from Crab Apple Yarns, and then the little gift was a little stitch marker of a little apple, which is super cute. Um, this was a fun little guy. So I'll try to put, and I've already gone into them, so I don't know if this is going to work. I can't Do hold it Yeah. So, so how many colors? Is it 10? Uh, yeah. Eight? Eight? No, it's 10 because I've got two in my sock bag, mm -hmm. I think. So um, this is fun. Those, those two are fun. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, that's, um, where's my, oh yeah, here it is. God, I'm all over the place today. So I started another summer lead design uh, yesterday, and it's her shorty pattern, and I'm doing it as a fade. How oh, cute! So, but that's not something that like she said to do with it. It's just what you yeah. Decided. There's uh, her shorty sock pattern has five different options. Oh wow! So she does stripes. She does uh, a frill top, um, a pom pom, and then different ways that you can. Like the pom-pom on the back of the ankle? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love those. So anyways, so I just started my second color, which is this one. Apparently the first one is gone. Yeah, there's 10. The first one is gone because the kitten took it. So I've got to find that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm using Champlain for the heel and uh, heel and cuff. And then I used this light speckle. And now I'm into the one that I'm holding. And then I'm going to go into the purple which is wine twig and we'll go from there the second sock might be totally different i might not have enough so oh it will be totally different yeah yeah i think i'll run out because these are only 20 grams is that right something like that what are they 
Are they 20 or 10? Might 20? be 10. Yeah, they're 10. So it's gonna be totally different. Oh well, I never think ahead. It's all good. So that was yesterday. Last night's cast on. What did you cast on yesterday? I cast on this that I'm knitting on here. So this was released, I don't know, earlier this week, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. So this wasn't my planned cast on. I planned on casting on one of my Halloween colors or um, maybe, maybe a Christmas color. But um, yeah, the Snuggle socks were released. I had seen these. I think uh, Maria did a test knit. Oh, okay. Um, for for him when he was when he was still in the test knitting phase. So yeah, I've made I made the Snuggle is real cowl, which is the same. This is the same. It's got the same mosaic design and it it's lined with mohair. So these are bed socks. They're knit in DK weight and then have a full lining um, with another sock of mohair sock. So it's <laughs> like, yeah, there's this picture shows, how do I block the pattern? Um, anyway, this picture shows the cuff turned down and you can see the mohair inside there. Um, so, yeah. Nice. So toe up, which is not my favorite way to do socks, but um, toe up into the mosaic pattern. These should go pretty quick. They're on four millimeter needles um, and DK weight. Sorry, the outer sock should go quick. Yeah. Um, overall, you're knitting four socks <laughs> to finish this pair though. So what so size anyways. needle are you knitting the mohair in? Um, that's a wonderful question. I don't read ahead. Lining. Cuff lining, join two, join uh, contrast two, held double, knit in the round. Same needles? Switch cuff, switch to smaller needles. Oh, okay. So let's go back to the needle sizes. Four millimeter is what I'm working on now, 3.5. Okay. It should, still so. should go pretty good. Yeah. God, this table is so squeaky. It's so squeaky. I'm sorry if that's super annoying. So this is my Snuggle is Real cowl that I made last year. <laughs> Sorry, let's say last year. Look at, check, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Tails. I finished something. It's done. I'm done knitting. Who needs to weave in ends? Yeah. So um, I guess maybe it wasn't a full year ago. Was it maybe just spring? No, maybe. not spring. Like winter. End During of, the winter. End, end of winter yeah. or whatever. But... It was That's definitely really nice. wasn't wasn't time to wear it. That, not that I would have wore, wore it because I would have put it as a sample oh for God. a while beforehand. So that um, is going to be amazing. Yeah. So yeah, it's got the same mosaic pattern through the body. You've got a rolled um, hemmed a hemmed not a rolled cuff a, a, hem, a hemmed cuff. This one <laughs> <laughs> hemmed cuff. Yeah. Something yeah, like that's that. right. The um, words are really words bad today. Words are bad. Um, this one, this one is, yeah, hemmed and then holds the drawstring, so you could tighten it up. And then it's lined with mohair. Yum. Mohair silk. So, hey, girl. Yeah, been hey, girl. So, yeah, this is all done in Leon Roxy, so we've got McSteamy, which I used in the socks, too. And <laughs> patches to patches. Um, the socks have uh, caviar and cigarettes. And then... Um, Hey girl, mohair in this one. The nice. mohair I chose for my socks are just some seconds that we had some dye issues with. So I actually have two different two different colors. You have to hold it double. So I'll just hold a, one of each or one one sock will get one color and the other will get the other. I don't really yeah. care. That's actually um, a nice color. It's actually not bad. If it was something that we could easily repeat, mm -hmm. that wouldn't be too bad. This one has con some contamination on it, so it's barely there. So what you guys are seeing is that would be our barely there mohair. But there are some spots of um, hot pink and turquoise in spots where it's not supposed to be. So Because hot pink and turquoise is... They're buggers. The devil of dyes. Devils. They're 
very scrub, invasive. Scrub and scrub and yeah, don't realize it's on something. Yeah. Oh, what's happening? Timer. There we I go. got mohair in my mouth. <laughs> That's what's happening. Nice. So that was my last night cast on. Excellent. So I got a That's little fun. bit on it. So, oh, here's the colors. McSteamy and Caviar and Cigarettes. Caviar and Cigarettes is a gray with like dark purple speckles. Yeah. Really. Wine, wine, wine color like speckles. Like really deep mauve maybe. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Very good. Um, I also have another hoe that I had to find. Oh, it's right in front of me. So this is my Grocery Girls Coffee Talk. Uh, the pattern is Coffee Talk by Tracy Miller in our Grocery Girls colorway. Uh, sun's out, gun's out. So. It's awesome. So the, <laughs> you know how she fades the toe? It kind of got lost a little bit with the craziness. So you stop the pattern and then you start fading in your toe color, but with craziness, it yeah. gets lost a little bit, but they're fun. Good fit, I like them. Um, yeah, that's that. So I, that's a lot of hose. It is, right? It's good. That means that that's a lot of started pairs of socks. Yes, that's true. And then I've got these ones still that just need to, I could probably finish these tonight. It just needs the toe, a couple more rounds and the toe. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Okay, so, so I was at 25 and did I only cast on the two? It's October things, I think I did. I think the other sock that I have going, which is in here, yeah, it's right there. Um, I had cast on before we filmed last yeah. time, so I'm officially at 18 now. So I'm at 27. <laughs> nice. That's Five. awesome. And I'm at 27 because I have nothing finished. Okay. Did you finish anything? No, I finished did, nothing. You didn't finish your sweater? No. Aww. It's so sad. I know I should get on that, but you know what? I've been, um, I've only been picking up things that are making me truly happy. And I feel like the sweater, it's like, oh. so if I get that oh, mood, then I don't do it. But I picked up my crochet blanket. Oh, cool. So I worked on that. <clears throat> and I finished those hose. They were wearing on me. I so. love that they were wearing on you. You, you cast the one on <clears throat> a week ago. Yeah. That's right. That, that was draining. Was it, it was. <laughs> you know, the stressful activity. So uh, last time I was here at this at the little marker and I did that. Nice. Oh my gosh, it's getting big. It really is. Loving it. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still, I, I don't like this section in here, this blue, but that's all right. It'll be fine. So, that makes me happy. Almost finished this. I honestly think that I got some cotton acrylic in here, or wool acrylic. No, you know what it, it is? I can, I recognize it. Um, I dyed that. Oh, you did? Yeah, gray with just a little bit of rainbow in it. Yeah, yeah. pastel rainbow. It was before we, we before we were dyeing. Okay. Before, um, when we used that commercial yarn. Okay. To dye on that's rough? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I was, the whole time I was crocheting with it, it was like, ooh. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> what the color this? was nice though. I liked yes. the way that color turned out. Yeah. Oh, and then I started, I put together another magic ball um, of like itty bitty scraps. I had all these, like literally when. So did you have the full skein of that yet? No. No, I just had a little tiny bit of it. I wonder where that went. So I went through, um, well, I might only have like a meter or two scraps in this one. So you went through and tied, tied them all yeah. together? Yeah. I couldn't get the lid on my uh, fingering weight scrap bucket, so I had to call a bit. <clears throat> so that's it for my knitting. What about you? 
Do you have anything else that you worked on? Yeah, I've worked on my sweater. Oh, good. We got the buttons on those, that bad boy. Oh, this sweater? Okay. Yeah. We oh, you were thinking your other sweater? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really work on this. That doesn't, that doesn't count yet. Okay. Um, what sweater is this? Oh, I know. In my J. Hendry bag. Um. Oh, look at you. I actually ordered some pattern wrangling solutions for the store because I was like, yeah, I'm starting to get annoyed with my pattern thing. Okay. You'll get to see true, I feel like I say this a lot, true Jolin craziness here. Okay, so All right. I'm separated for the sleeve now. This is Rhapsody and Cables. Yes, this is my Rhapsody and Cables. For the Hohe Fall 2020 knit along. So I've done the body and you're supposed to put this on like waist yarn or, you know, all the many cords I have that you can put end caps on, but yep. I have a needle in it still <laughs> that's hitting the table and can drop all those stitches in lace and cable work yep. instead of nice. my many tools. And then this is, the sleeve is in the round. Okay. Um, I do, I need to use, you know, those, um, those row counters that Kathy makes. Yes. I need to either find mine or buy another one. Um, you getting confused? On the sleeve, like it was all this lace and stuff. It was like, it was fine. I could tell what row I was on. But these, these very simple cables, I have a hard time knowing if I've done enough rounds and mm -hmm. I usually end up going one round too many. Yeah. And so um, I just need one of those right at the beginning to tell me if it's time to do my cable twist or not. Yeah because otherwise it's worse it weight. This sleeve should go pretty quick, but if I keep messing it up, it's just slowing me down. Yeah. So. so I find when I use a counter or um, my phone for a counting app or one of those bead mover things, I always start questioning if I've moved the bead or not. The bead thing, so no, the bead thing, the ones that Kathy makes where you put the needle into the other stitch marker, you know, the holes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's when I idea. hit this stitch marker, I have to do something with it. It should trigger you to go to the next hole. Yeah. The ones like I use, I tend to use paper and pencil a lot and just go, yes, I finished this row. I don't always stop at the beginning of the row and, re and remember to mark that. I just keep going and I, okay. Um, but when, yeah, there's a stitch marker in your way That's of true. knitting and you have to move it. Yeah. Um, I find that's probably better, but yeah, those clicky things. No. It's like, did I click it? Did I not click it? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with me with that stuff. But yeah, this, like, this is just pure laziness. Get up and get a cable that you can have end caps on and not lose your stitches. <laughs> like, seriously. Uh, yeah. I need to, I need to organize my needles. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway. So. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's good. And then you've got your other sweater, which segues nicely into our next topic. Yeah, it's the only reason I brought it because okay. I, I didn't do enough on it to worth worth showing that I worked on it this week or anything. Um, so last week we mentioned it was because we were talking about four city knit girls, I think. Yes, and were, quick knits, the big easy. You were going off about liking that sweater yeah. and it being quick yeah. and stuff. So. Um, yeah, I thought we should do a sweater knit along because why not? Why not? 20, what did I have? 27? 27, yeah. 27 whips is not enough. No. Anyway, so we're going to do a sweater knit along. Yay! It's going to be the quick wins sweater knit along. We want everybody in a hand knit sweater come December. So come the real winter here anyway. Um, so yeah, I brought this one because... This would definitely be considered. <laughs> this would definitely be considered a quick knit. Um, besides the fact that it's taken me two years to finish the armpits. <laughs> two, so, two years. Do to as we armpits. say, not as we do. Look at one armpit's done. One is not. That's dangerously close to that is, losing. I suppose I should go yeah. like this. And I've sewed on the buttons for her. Carrie sewed on buttons for me. So, awesome. yeah, this is 
this is five minutes away from being finished. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do oh. a quick, a quick wins, a quick win, quick win sweater knit along. Okay. So you got a pen and paper? The rules are complicated. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. Um, so yeah, it was it was, it was Patty. It was Patty wearing the. Oh, I'm gonna say it wrong again. It's the Hohi, Hohi sweater called the Easy One, and then there's the Easy One bulky. Right. So she was wearing the Easy One bulky, and oh, it's not called the Big Easy. No, that's what we called it last time. Oh, which is wrong. <laughs> I also called I my know. Hohi cardigan Eaton. Etten. It's Elton. Come on, Carrie. There's an L oh, in there. Oh, it's like Elton John. Yeah. Yeah. But I keep calling it Eaton, like freaking school. What's school about Eaton? Uh, Eaton College. I don't know. It's in oh. England. Oh. Like, I don't know, the royalty boys go there or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not in England. Yeah, so... Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. So... So I, I could finish one of my six sweaters that I have on the go. Or, or cast on a new one. Yeah. So the rules. The rules. Make a sweater, finish sweater by November 31st, which... November 31st? Yeah. November 30th. There's oh, no 31. So there is no 31? No. Well, December 1st then? Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Again, loosey-goosey. Loosey -goosey. Did you just extend it by a month? No, I said December 1st. Which oh, December. Okay. Which would be November 31st. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. November 31st, otherwise known as December 1st. It's December 1st. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. See? Good. You so can, You can correct any mistake easily <laughs> enough. Um, <sighs> yeah. Okay, good. So finish finish a sweater. Yeah. Post it. I've chosen a big prize. Oh, have you? Yeah. Okay. A sweater's quantity of Leo and Roxy. Nice. That's a good one. So. That's a good prize. That is a good prize. Yeah. So all you need to do is finish a sweater between now and December 1st, end of November, whatever. Okay. And Sarah's going to do... Um... Katrina's going to moderate the... Um... Who's Katrina, you ask? <laughs> Hi, Katrina! <laughs> um, yeah, Katrina's going to... What's her name? What's her Ravelry name? Um... It's right, it's, is it right here on the screen? It is. It's right there. Or there. Or there. <laughs> or, or over there. our faces. Yeah. I don't know. We'll put that up. Um, yeah. And then we'll do, we'll just do a random draw from finished objects. Thread. Okay. We'll have, I don't know. Same Excellent. As, same as the sock club. We'll have a chatter thread and a finished objects thread. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you go over to the chatter thread, we can, uh, I don't know, help you pick out stuff we can maybe yeah. actually pay attention to the threads we could <laughs> over there we could do that um but we brought some of our favorite quick sweaters yeah like some of them are super quick yeah so um, about well a month ago we did these ones yeah this is the simple hug cardi by cozy up knits and they are a canadian podcast family yeah sisters is there Five of them? Well, there's four what that podcast. The it's twins the and then the two solos. There's twins? Yeah. The youngest ones are twins. I'll have to look closer. Yeah. Are they identical? Um, I, They're pretty friggin' close. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I know there's fraternal, identical, and pretty friggin' close. And pretty friggin' close. Yeah. That's the medical even, term. I guess even if you're not identical, if you're sisters of the exact same age, sometimes you can look almost yeah. the same, right? Yeah. So, um. Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter if they're identical or fraternal <laughs> twins at all. <laughs> no bearing on the sweater. No. It's still a quick knit. It's still a very quick knit. Yeah. Big needles, eight millimeters, something, something like, like that. that. Oh my gosh, yeah. so quick. Um, it calls for DK weight held with mohair. I did two fingering held with mohair to get the DK weight. Yeah, they've got... Um... They have options in the pattern, like if you want to using different yarns yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So this one is not only, yeah, not only quick. It's a good stash mm -hmm. buster. Yeah. So. Uh, and then Jillian just showed her Carbath cardigan. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this is gonna blow out huge. This is the Carbath 
Why am I remembering the color name? I, I haven't dyed it in a while. I don't know. I was going to go upstairs and look, but... Yeah, that's... Yeah. It's a little it's, bright for the it's camera. It's pretty bright. But... Um, it's super awesome. quick it's knit. Awesome. It's I love DK this. held double. She's a warm one. Yeah, so this pattern by Kate Davies actually calls for DK held double. So she writes it based on that. So... I'm so all, good at weaving in my ends. All three of these are DK held double. So this one's yeah. Leo and Roxy in the colorway that's up on the screen right now. Because yeah. I can't believe we can, we're can we forgetting this. It's something to do with like... It's so close to Hey Girl, but not really. No, not really. Hey Girl has that more orangey yeah. tone. I don't know. It It's right there. That's the colorway. Um, this is a second car bath that I did, and this is also in Leo and Roxy mink mm -hmm. held double. They're all cropped, so that's that's that, what makes it goes fast half the time. Well, the, yeah, these these car baths are done on big needles, and you can't ex, you can't extend the body, but these are cro they are meant to be a cropped sweater as well. So, which makes them even that like. These would be the fastest, yeah. I'd say, in the pile of stuff we have right now because they are thick and cropped. Yeah. Is wiggy, wiggy. Is wiggy a word you can use? Yeah. I don't know why it wouldn't be, is it? I don't know if it has a bad thing. But mm -hmm. um, anyways, yeah, people get all freaked out about wearing cropped sweaters um, that they can't pull it off or anything. Yeah, you can. You can totally pull it off. So that's what layers are for. You wear... You wear leggings or jeans with a tunic and then a crop sweater or a long linen dress or whatever, right? Anybody can wear a crop sweater. Wiggy, oh. present tense, Urban Dictionary says it's a word for freaking out, losing control. Dude, I'm wiggy as hell right now. <laughs> I'm wiggy as hell right now. Okay, so it's all right to say that. Um, and there's a wiggy pizza place. No. Oh. Where's that? I don't know. Okay. I love pizza. Caledonia. Okay. It's too far. They won't bring it to us. No. Uh, okay. So that's the car bath. You're welcome for the distraction. Yeah. Car bath. Um, so then the next one would be... We made two of those. Yeah. Because that's I what I do. Mine. I get on a kick, right? Two car baths. Then this is a uh, ranunculus. The ranunculus. Yeah. yeah. And so super quick knit. Also cropped. Again, cropped, big needles. It's You can use almost any weight yarn. Um, yeah, worsted any weight. or fingering and mohair. People have done it with it so lace. many things. Lace. Yeah. Um, short sleeve, cropped, big needles. Like, yeah. you really can't ask for a quicker sweater. Yeah, and this is in uh, Farmer's Daughter and Chelsea Lux. Mm hmm then I did another ranunculus, and this is in Leo and Roxy Worsted. I think it was a one-of-a-kind color. Yeah. It's very close to a spruce. spruce. Yeah. Pretty close to spruce. Love that sweater. So mm -hmm. quick. So that one you made a little less cropped than the yes, other one. Yes, that's right. And then I went this on... This pile's getting big. I'm going to be buried soon. And then I went on to uh, Soldatna's. Actually, I did Sildotnas first. I did Sildotnas first, yeah. A lot of these were like last September, which was crazy. Um, I was doing like a sweater a week or every 10 days. Yeah, did we wear these in in uh, um, Vancouver or were we finishing them? Did I finish mine? I don't know. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> we are. <laughs> um, so then, yeah, something like that. I think I wore this in at Knit City, Vancouver last year. Yeah, I, I feel like I might have cast mine off there. I don't Maybe. remember. I don't know. I don't know. We knit uh, things and go places. So, yeah. Well, we used to go places. So we'll this go places was in my... like three years or so. Yeah, hopefully. I really miss traveling. Mm -hmm. Um, so this was my first Soldatna. Um, in Rowan felt, felt it tweed. Um, this does not fit me. This is when I thought I was a lot thinner than I was. Um, 
So then I moved oh, on to my... Uh, this is my second Soldatna. This is all in Leo and Roxy. Um, we've got Omen and Meredith and Quartz. Fable. And Fable. Yep. Love cute. that. And then I did a Christmas Soldatna. This is awesome. You did that so quick. Yeah. Like, when did you cast that on? December 14th? Like, Something was like that. It was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's... And I can't remember what this is in. Scout. It's in Scout. Okay. So, um, I changed something on it. The hearts, these... The, yeah, those. so instead of these, instead of this pattern right there, I switch them to hearts and because I am no pattern writer that one is wonky AF. There wasn't enough stitches for yeah. that. Wonky AF. Um, and then this also has beads on it so that it made the uh, chevrons kind of look like holly, holly berries. So I don't know if you can see that. Can you try? We're super creative for this one. There you go. It looks great. Yeah, so that's, I can wear that this year. Uh, yeah, so quick, quick, sweaters. quick sweaters. Um, yeah. Uh, that's a lot the, of sweaters. <laughs> the love notes is quick. Love notes. I haven't made a love notes. We'll put a, we'll put a bunch of stuff on the Ravelry group. Um, mm -hmm. And maybe in the show notes, we'll put um, some links of ones that we think we think are quick um but yeah i think the key is keep it simple for you um and have a sweater for when the winter yeah. hits i brought down my um lavelle Novelli. Mm -hmm. um i wouldn't consider this as quick because it's fingering weight but it is cropped and it is short sleeve yeah um, that makes such a big difference but it's fairly wide and it is fingering weight at a at a normal fingering weight gauge not too not too loose so oh yeah. my gosh that's so gorgeous yeah so Be gorgeous. beautiful so was it last summer this was the yes yeah that was the big one last summer. this was the big one last summer but this would be awesome to have done for winter too like yeah it's short sleeve but it, you do it in wool and yeah it's yeah it's gorgeous so yeah where are those short sleeve knits all winter long just throw on a long sleeve shirt you can get the merino wool long sleeve mm -hmm. uh, shirts and yeah wear them all the knits all the time all the time just having just having wool on your across your back and your yeah. shoulders will make a huge difference mm -hmm. so um i th the reason i brought my car bath back because last night when i was doing the first armpit um i was thinking I kind of I kind of want to do that the easy one chunky. But then I'm like maybe I want the car bath pullover instead of and the car, mm -hmm. instead of the cardigan. But what I really know I want to do is I want to hold DK double. I don't want to look for a chunky yeah. yarn. We have so many DKs um in so many colors. Yeah. Um and I really love the way this feels. Can I feel the weight of this? Yeah. I find yeah, so that is, this is woolen spun, that's worsted spun. It's yeah. Super heavy. Super heavy. Yeah. So this is my size, and this is Carrie's size, and that sweater's heavier than yeah. my sweater. So this is out of Patagonia, which is a woolen spun um, DK weight, so it's held double. Um, I think this particular sweater has 12 stitches to 4 inches. How do you remember um, that stuff? But yeah, yeah, my sweater's lighter than Carrie's mm -hmm. because the 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 worsted spun is a denser yarn. Yeah. You're still getting the same gauge and stuff, but there's just this has more air in it. Um, I have to say that I was wearing this in my house. You were wearing it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I I don't know. Yep. With your armpits exposed. Yep. It's very nice. So. So I don't know, are you gonna cast on a new sweater? 
Oh. Sure, what the hell? The other key to the knit along is the fastest way to finish a sweater is to finish one you already have half started. So yes. whips count. So I don't care if it's fingering weight sweater, so it wouldn't technically be considered a quick sweater. If you only need to finish off a sleeve or something like that, whips count, so. I should finish my West Coast Cardi. West Coast Cardi, oh, the um. Cowichan. Yeah. Cowichan style. Yeah. Cause that's, even though it's color work, it's uh. <laughs> One stitch an inch or something yeah, like it's that, huge. it's huge. Yeah. Um, so yeah, cool. that's that sweater. But yeah, what are you thinking? What are you, I'm gonna I don't I'm gonna, know. I don't know. I really liked that, um, the easy one. Mm -hmm. I really like that cardigan. Um, I might do Carbeth again. I, but the, the, but pullover. the pullover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but I do like the idea of the easy, the big easy, the easy one. The easy one you said. The easy one. Yeah. Yeah. It's not big because the original one is fingering weight. Yeah. Um, the easy one. So it's the easy one and then easy one the easy one bulky okay. um because it's just you know it's just a drop shoulder pullover mm -hmm. cozy um oversized kind of oh you know what i have in my stash is uh uh oh i can't remember the name of the store north young street um toronto with the bird The no. yarn shop. The one that had the bird, though. The love bird. No? No. That's not Young Street. I don't know the streets in Toronto. Yeah, Young Street. <laughs> we did a trunk show there. Uh, Purple Pearl? That's on not, Queen Street. That's not what For I meant to say. Sakes. It's the purple one, though. Not Purple Pearl. The other one. Passionate. Passionate, yes. I don't know the streets. Oh, my God. That was the one where you could hear the subway going underneath the yes. building. That was crazy. Yeah. When you went downstairs to go to the bathroom and... It's like, yeah, subway's <laughs> going by. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're yeah. not big city folks. Nope. Uh, anyways, yeah, from there I've got um, Noro and... Yes. I think it might be felt a tweed. No, it's, it's Debbie not. Bliss. It's not. It's a Debbie Bliss tweed. Yeah. Um, I that's... bought it as a kit, but I could repurpose that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fun. That'll be good. Yeah. Uh, other crafting news. I've been stitching up a storm. Oh no, here's that yarn. <laughs> the one you thought the kitten had? <laughs> yeah, squirrel. Uh, yeah. So I've been stitching up a storm. I put some more work into my um, flamingos. So cute. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it because I am a sewer and uh, it's really nice to do hand sewing, basically. Mm -hmm. um, I'm starting to get all the little accoutrements to make your stitching easier, the little magnetic needle keeper so you're not poking your fabric. And I'm learning about parking threads so you don't have to keep starting, starting and stopping and dividing your uh, fabric into these little 10 by 10 grids so that you can you're not losing it going cross-eyed um, so I worked on that and uh, I put some more time into my Halloween sampler I'd really like to get this done I was really late to the party on this this was a, a stitch along oops <laughs> <laughs> My needle keeper is mating with your pattern. With my pattern keeper, yay <laughs> magnets! Yeah. You have you've stolen like one of my magnets too somewhere. No, it's just the one that's on. Well, the it's missing. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is my. That's interesting. Halloween. Maybe it's in my bag. My Halloween Ouija board. Um, is that focus? Can you see if that's focus? My magnets in here. Bitch. There you go. Yeah, so I've done quite a bit of work on the house and I did that little tombstone and I finished the alphabet and the numbers and I've got a good chunk of the borders done, the frames around the outside. 
So that's fun. That's a tiny modernist pattern. And she is from Hamilton, I believe. Right there. Focus. Oh, it doesn't like, like look at the blurred out things on your picture. Oh, the I see, okay. Like, yeah, thank you. you. Can't focus something that's not even in focus. Yep. Yeah. So that's that. And then, um, <laughs> uh -oh. yeah, Carolyn from uh, Off the Grid Needle Arts, mm -hmm. who's also a knitter um, and a regular in our store. Um, she has a little podcast and, well, it's actually a big podcast. And um, on like quarterly, she has these high tea starts. Okay. So it's just an excuse to ca to not cast on. Have a to new start. Start something. Yeah, yeah, to start something. So, um, so I just love that your project bags are getting extra use. I know, right? So this one. What the heck are you doing now? Black fabric. I know. Okay, so this might have not been a great choice. So this is uh, a black linen. Um, it, I have to put a white towel on my lap when I'm stitching oh on this. Uh, and this is Halloween-y as well. I should maybe... When's the last time you dressed up for Halloween? Oh, it's... No, I don't really like the act of dressing up and going out, but I love the imagery. I like the... Yeah. yeah. Um, just bear with me. Have we heard anything about locally Halloween this year? Like what the... I've just heard people like going, oh, it's not going to happen. But I don't I think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen either. I'm just curious if there's been an official, hey. No, nah, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so I don't actually know where to find this on my, um, on my tablet. Tablet, but uh, it's a, it's like a spooky full moon. Mm. Um, yeah. Anyways. You'll see it when I get more done. Whatever that might be. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this little needle keeper. I'm just a girl standing in front of a salad asking it to be a donut. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. Oops. I don't know if I have anything else. Um. Oh, question of the day. I'm going to grab a question of the day. Uh, okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> What's the best Wi-Fi name you've ever seen? Oh, yeah. My neighborhood is good. Yeah. Yeah. I live in the country. The only Wi-Fi is mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, just, too. yeah, on my, I live in a fairly densely populated subdivision. Um, pretty fly for a Wi-Fi. Yeah. That's been around for a while. Um, OPP patrol, which kind of startles you when you yeah. go to log in. Um, and then a lot of our neighbors' pets' names. But I'm just reading all of them. Sorry. Mine is Frankie's crib. Is it? Yeah. That changed. Yeah, it did. Um, mine's SEO internet and the password to get into my internet, internet that you want to know, um, is Alohomora, so unlock from Harry Potter. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, so anyway, if you guys want to break into my internet, if you want to come sit outside my house and use my internet, feel free. <laughs> no, <laughs> they like, never find your house. You'd never find me, so. No. Well, who knows? yeah, you probably could find me if you really, really tried, I bet, but. It's not worth the drive. Internet sucks, by the way. Yeah, it's <laughs> super slow. <laughs> anyway. Okay. How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? Emery pulled this out the other day and read that to me. I was like, oh gosh, that could be funny. How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? Uh, I don't know. Maybe just one if he snorted it. Snorted it. Can they <laughs> snort or can they just blow out? No, they drink water through their... Oh, their trunk. Yeah. Trunk. So, so yeah, just one. Could inhale, inhale, inhale a inhale chicken. A chick. So that might do it. Other, if it I just, it to death, I know it nothing. Hundreds, I think. I know nothing about 
elephants, like real elephants, but I just know the, the imagery of them being scared of mice and stuff like that. So like if they freak out and are scared of mice, they like fall off a cliff or something. I don't know. Okay. Are there cliffs where there are elephants? I don't think in, like, so. They're in like the like safari. The savannah. Yeah. yeah, savannah. I don't know. I know nothing about elephants. I know stuff about chickens. They're not exactly killers. <laughs> They're pretty gentle creatures. Yeah. So well, a mean rooster is a mean rooster, but he's still not a killer. So I'm going to say one or thousands. Yep. Do you think Google would have an answer for that? No. You don't think so? No. Okay. Hey, Suri. How many chickens does it take to kill an elephant? Okay. I found this on the web for how many chickens does it take to kill an elephant. How on Check earth did you find stuff on the web? Oh, the internet. I wish she would just give me an answer, though, instead of searching it for me. How many chickens would it take? Depends on how you use them. Okay. Probably most effectively and without other killing agents is putting a chicken into the bloodstream of an elephant. Oh, gosh. Why am I on the internet? I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem accurate. Oh, my God. I just, but it was on, I just, it was on the internet, so it must be true. I just don't want to be on the internet. <laughs> Okay. That well, was scary. That's yeah. kind of morbid because I really like elephants. I don't think that's a good one. Pick another one. We already did one. Wi Fi. I know. I want to do another one. one. You can just keep doing them. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that just pre basically told us to figure out world peace. I know. What kind of cult would you like to start? We've already started one, knitting. Knitting is pretty cult-like, isn't go. it? And yeah. eating We didn't dough. start knitting, by the way, just in case you were curious. We've already started. But we could start it as a cult. We could start it as a cult. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> and eating cookie dough. I, like, okay. Um, I was watching, I was watching a video about stereotypes of the United States. And so anyway, this okay. one, if all the states in the USA were represented by food, what would each state be represented by? Okay. So, well, don't, first don't, of all, this is going to gonna be long. Yeah, you need to stop. Yeah. I can't name all 50 states, people. Like which would Well, there's each, 52. See, there you go. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what would each state be like this is a long freaking question i don't actually plan on answering this because we could get going on it no okay <laughs> maine lobster okay i would have said pizza because of mystic pizza the movie i have no idea what that is okay lobster um and then there's some more there's some more there's like connecticut connecticut i don't know what connecticut is no <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I had, I had lobster in Massachusetts. Okay. I'm going to go with lobster for everything. Georgia. Geor oh, Georgia is like southern. When we first got to Georgia, um, my friend made us like grits and like fish and like, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. southern -y. Okay. Mac and cheese. I don't know. I apple know pie. I'm going to say apple pie for Georgia. That no. seems... <laughs> F bomb. Oops, sorry. Uh, Georgia. Well, I'm gonna say peaches. Oh, peaches! <laughs> I'm gonna say peaches. Uh, yeah, sorry. Or Coca Cola. Ge Georgia peach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I that was just thinking the southern food that I got fed while I was there. Yeah, I know that we've missed a few states in there. A New lot York. of states. New York. Pizza. Apples. <laughs> the big apple. I know okay. nothing about the states. Fair enough. Okay. Minneapolis. No, that's not a state. That's a city. Min Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. You know more about Minnesota know. than I do. Minnesota. I know nothing. It's it's one of their most northern states. I'm going to say they're probably one of the few that have maple syrup like Canada. Okay. But I think bear paws. Like donuts? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know. I've I've probably driven through there when we drove through to BC, but you actually have been there frequently when frequently, you were younger. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I called it Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> Wisconsin. Jeez. Oh, it's that, like, the cheese head yeah. football -y thing or something? Nevada. I don't know. It's got Las Vegas in it. What do they eat in Vegas? 
I don't know. What do you eat in Vegas? What do you eat in Vegas? Tequila? <laughs> That's a food group. I don't know. There's a lot of states. Hawaii. Pineapple. Mm. Alaska. Moose. That's rude, but probably true. Okay. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was stupid. <laughs> oh, Can we boy. do it for Canada? Okay. Do we do we represent to our provinces represent food in any way? BC, Nanaimo bars. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Alberta. Beef. Yeah. Saskatchewan. Bread. Wheat. Yeah. <laughs> Manitoba. Oh. Hey, friends from Manitoba. What do you guys eat in Manitoba? That's well, different. I think, that's, I think they eat everything. They eat normal stuff, yeah. yeah. But what's, like, is there something that stands yeah. out? Yeah, there's nothing that really comes to mind right away. Okay. Next is Ontario. That's where we live. Can we name any Persians. Persian. I'm swearing a lot in this story, you know. <laughs> um... What's a Persian? Okay, well, it's the Thunder Bay thing. Drinking That's game. not Ontario. <laughs> I know, but it should be represented by Persians. Google it. It's a thing. They're like a cinnamon bun with straw. Well, it's a debate if it's strawberry or cherry icing, but... Okay. So there's how many million people in Ontario? A lot. How many in Thunder Bay? 100,000. <laughs> uh, okay, well, whatever. It doesn't represent Ontario. It might represent okay. Thunder Bay. Corn. Because it grows here? I guess so. But it's like feed corn for cows, so we're going to go <laughs> I don't know. Again. Why is Ontario so hard? I don't know. Maple syrup for sure. Apples. Mm -hmm. um, compared to other places in Canada. I Quebec. Guess. Poutine. Poutine. We're just going to go with poutine. <laughs> I don't know what an Ontario food is. Poutine is so good, folks, if you don't know what it is. New Brunswick. Mm. Covered bridge chips. There's potatoes. Oh, those chips are so good. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm at Home Sense or Winners, they usually have them at the checkout and I get them. They're really good. Um, PEI is potatoes, fries. Yeah. Um, but also seafood. seafood. Now we're in the Maritimes. So we're yeah, just talking it's seafood. all seafood all the time. It's awesome. Um, Nova, all seafood all the time. Nova Scotia has a couple things. Um... I'm going to draw a blank on them. Oat cakes. Mm. Um, Those are good. That would be that Scottish influence. Mm -hmm. Let's go back mm. to BC. Grilled cheese sandwich. <gasps> Yummy. Those are so good. That's especially what we ate when we were there. Especially if you're lactose and gluten intolerant. Oh my god. It's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I feel like our life has went downhill since last October. It's been a year. Yeah. Okay, well, this is getting silly. It actually got silly nine minutes ago. But <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about it's all that. Good. Okay. Sorry about that. So, is there anything we need to update people on? What are we doing? Um, what's coming to the store? Uh, we talked about a bit of it. So, full, oh, moon, yeah. full moon fibers, um, timber in, in the slub, timber, lots of timber. There's three different Christmas colorways. Love bug, tequila. Any update on the um, other Christmas yarn? No. No. Okay. We'll leave that. Mm, yeah. That's a trigger, I think. Yeah. Okay. I might even have to cancel half of it just because it looks like it might not be here until mid-November. Yeah. Okay. We'll discuss that later. Yeah, I know. Um... So. Yeah, getting um, more Holston. Holst is coming. I need to run to the bank as soon as we're done filming here um, to wire money, which is not one of my favorite chores. Wire, if it's it's like, a, I don't know, if you've never wired international money, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, so you get your invoice and you have to depend on Google to know is this a province or a city or whatever because addresses are set up so funny in all the different yeah. countries and then when you wire money there's no like the bank doesn't doesn't guarantee it if i put anything wrong that money's just gone 
Oh. Yeah. That's warm and fuzzies. Yeah. It's like, uh, but anyway, I don't know why we got into that, but yeah. Anyway, so yes, Holst is coming. Um, I feel like other stuff came in. <gasps> Ooh, um, Lore got here. Oh. Okay. We should go for a tour. Not a tour tour, but we should go look at Lore. Okay. Um, do we move the camera? Will they get sick if we do that? Uh, or do we, we just go slow? We can edit it out or we can move the camera. Okay. Okay. Oh, we should show baby first. Cause oh, yeah, here. baby. Come here, baby. With her privates all hanging out. I'll try not to show those off too much. She needs a little fig leaf. She needs, she needs a diaper. Um, yeah, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Um... Baby. No well knit this for us. I, it's the flax light in the in the newborn size. Hold her. Yeah. Wait, hold. I want her leg off. Her leg doesn't come off. Her arms come off. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing to her? Oh my god. Hey, well, I just want to show her totally feet. Broke her. Okay. Anyway. Look at those. So the sweater is the flax light in the newborn size. And uh, I'll get the information for the hat pattern and the sock pattern. But this is done with one of our work sock kits. One kit got the hat, the socks, and the sweater for, That's crazy. for our newborn. So, oh my gosh, it turned out so cute. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, if you got one of our work sock kits and you've got a new baby coming that you need to knit for, nice. It's great. It's washable. It's super soft. It's amazing. Super cute. Super cute. I absolutely nice. love it. So there's okay. Great. So let's go so, on a little tour. We're gonna go on a tour. So this is where we were just sitting. The. This is actually our community knitting space. Uh, in times pre-COVID, this table would be full, this whole room would be full of people on uh, Friday nights. Um, it was so much fun. Wednesday afternoons. Wednesday afternoons, yep. So on this wall, we have fingering weight yarn that is, um, uh, doesn't have nylon in it. So not suitable for socks. And then I'm going to pan over here. We usually have tons of baskets kicking around with different indie dyers or things that we've picked up. Uh, we've got commercial sock yarn and uh, more commercial sock yarn. Turn the lights as I go. Okay. And then we come into the next room. The whole store is divided by weights. So this is our very picked over weaving cotton shelf. We cannot keep this in stock. We have a uh, quite a big weaving community um, that comes to the store and orders online. And then we have lace weight yarns right here. Lots of tea towel samples that have been made. Then we come through the store and uh, this is our little utility room and the bathroom door and I'm on a trip here. We've got our socks samples like clothesline-esque because we also have um, our silk and eucalyn center here. And then we're going to come into the next room, and this is, what is this room? <laughs> Some DK. And this is, yeah, DK and Chunky. And it's our front cash. Yeah. Cash so, we've got lots of DK. We did not clean for them. We did not clean. Our bi Another big community table. Um, our front desk. Hi, Jolyn. And then... <laughs> yeah, and all the blinds are down as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll do a proper tour. Yeah, this is just a quick, quick and dirty. So, spin, 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 spin. 
And then our fun wallpaper. There's quite the story behind this wallpaper. Um, and we usually have tons of project bags in stock on these shelves and our notions and buttons. We have all those project bags that came in that I was supposed to show. Oh, yes. Um, this is our front room. That is the original door that was in the house right there. Uh, our front door and then we've got a little display area which has become our uh, COVID pickup area. Um, our menu board of classes that we offer when we have classes. Um, lots of decay. This is what we came for was the lore. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, um, some samples, some Noro, and then we've got a back wall of offerings as well. Um, so the lore. Here we go. Yeah, so lore is uh, from the fiber company. Um, it's a DK, could be considered a light worsted, um, 21 stitches per 4 inches. Um, 273 yards for the 100 gram skein, 100% Kent, Kent lamb's wool sourced and produced in England. It is so great. They're all heathered. Um, oh, I didn't see the top row too. Yeah, two full, two full rows up there. We've got one. Two. Nice. Twenty colors. Twenty colors. Um, I just yeah, so this might be what I hold double. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah. We'll continue through. This is looking from the front cash area into the back. The lights off back there. Uh, no, they're all on. We've got our needle wall. And then this room is, um, uh, what is this room? Jameson and Smith, uh, Shetland, fingering Shetland fingering and our Holst on both cones and uh, cakes. And then we come back here into the worsted room. We've got all of our Briggs and Little. That's my timer going off. Our um, Malabrigo washed it. Um, back wall, I don't know what's back there. Sisu, Cascade. Well, that's not Sisu, that's Anchor Bay. No, that's not Anchor Bay. What is that? <laughs> that is Cascade 220 Merino. And the bullets? Cascade 220 Merino. Oh, Merino, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and what else? We've got some Stuff. odds and sods, <laughs> bits and bobs, and... This one's getting picked over, too. Yep. Aaron Moore's been discontinued. Yep. Aaron Moore is... Oh, there's not very much of that left. Yeah, no, not much. Um, so, yeah, mm. Croft. Croft is a keeper. It's here to stay for now. Here to stay for now. Yep. Here to stay for now. And then the whole store is like a big circle and we're back coming into back into the sock room. And the aftermath of podcasting, okay. our bags and things like that. So that's about it. Um, we're going to say bye. Say bye. And we'll bye. see you in a couple of weeks. Take care, guys.